Hello friends, this is Miss Christy and I'm missing you and thinking of you and, and praying that this is finding you blessed and well. Um, I know as you're hanging out with mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, aunt or uncle, I pray this finds you being a big helper to them. Um, as I'm thinking about how weird these times are, I'm especially thinking about how God's word is going to encourage our hearts. And so today I wanna to encourage you, my friend Charity is about to lead us in a Bible study about fear and so I want to encourage you to gather a few things that are going to help us as we go through this Bible study. One, we need our Bible, right? And then I also want to encourage you to get a bowl of water, just fill it half full, a towel. Also, I want to encourage you to get some scotch tape if you have some and then also a piece of paper and a pencil. And if you don't have these things, it's okay because you'll see what's being done. But if you can get those things, that would be great. You can hit pause now to gather those items. All right, I'm excited about what Charity's gonna teach us in just a moment. But I wanna talk to you for just a minute about how, again, as we look into God's word, we're gonna see today in the book of Mark, which we know is in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, and we're in chapter four, that's big number four, little number 35 through 41, that's the verses. So I wanna encourage you to turn there. And I'm so excited about what we're gonna to learn today because my heart is needing some encouragement today um, that I can be still and know that God will calm my fears and he will take care of me. And guess what? He'll do that for you too. He'll calm your fears. As we're hearing a lot of things about the coronavirus and why we're out of school and why we can't be with our friends. I know we're a little scared, but what I love is God's word tells us to lean on Jesus and he will bring us comfort. I love you, my friends, and I just want you to know that we want you to do all the things that mommy and daddy are asking you to do. They're having to obey those people that have rules and regulations for us too when they're telling us to stay home, not go to work, not be in places with large groups. We're all having to obey rules. Even the big people around here are having to do that. And so I wanna encourage you as mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt and uncle, whoever it is that's giving you instruction, that you be a good listener, but always know that Jesus loves you and I love you and I miss you so much. All of our children's ministry team, we're thinking about you and loving you and praying for you. And I wonder if you'll let me do that for you right now. Can I pray for us as we look into God's word here in just a moment, but I wanna pray for you especially today. Lord, I love you and I thank you for Jesus. I thank you that Jesus calms our heart, calms our fears and is our very best friend. Lord, be with all of my little friends as they have new things that are going on. They can't go to school and they're at home and they're learning how to do new days in new ways. Lord, we do ask that you would walk with us and talk with us, sleep with us, eat with us, play with us, Lord. Be with us each and every moment of every day and help us to know that we can call upon you. In your name I ask it, Lord, amen. You know what, my friend, um, Charity is going to ask us to sing a song in just a moment. And that's going to seem a little bit weird because you're thinking, uh, it's just me in here all by myself. But I want you to stand up and sing this sweet song that is going to bless your heart. I promise it's going to bless you because it's going to talk about how Jesus calms our fears. Do you promise you'll sing that song with her? And I'll see you next week, okay? Parents, just a reminder to you, there's some pointers right here that you can click on that hopefully will be helpful to you in the coming days. Do log on, watch the worship service each Sunday. Dr. Jeff is coming to us every day at noon. I wanna encourage you to hear those messages from our pastor. I love you, friends. Bye-bye. Hi, friends. This is Charity from Group Publishing. Today, we are gonna talk about Jesus' power. A lot of people are fearful about coronavirus or more specifically COVID-19 right now. But Jesus' power calms our fears. So let's start with a song about Jesus' power. Follow along from home. No, really, 
I mean it. This is the perfect opportunity to get moving and have some fun together. So whether you're older or younger, everybody stand up and follow along with this song. Here we go. Thanks for singing with me. Now, let's talk more about fears. What scares you right now? For me, I'm a little scared for my parents. They're getting a little older and I'm scared they'll get sick. How about you? I wonder, what scares you right now? Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna pause the video and talk about that with your family and I'll hold this kind of scared face while you pause, okay? What scares you right now? Go. Being scared isn't new. It happened in the Bible too. So let's see how Jesus' power calmed fears of some people who were very scared. So for this story, you'll need a bowl of water, like this one, 
and a towel. Now, if there are a lot of you in your family, you may want to go and get a few bowls so that everybody can participate at once. So I'll wait to go ahead and pause the video again while you go and get those items. Ready, set, go! Now, if you want to follow along, the Bible story is from Mark 4, verses 35 to 41. Again, that's Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. You can look it up in a Bible or online. Here's how the story goes. Jesus and his friends were on a boat. So I want you to put your hand on top of the water like it's a boat. <laughs> All of a sudden, a storm started. So go ahead and put your hand into the water. Give it a swirl. The storm started to swirl around them. Maybe make some waves and some splashes. While the storm was happening, Jesus was sleeping through the whole thing. Keep that storm going, everybody. Oh, Jesus' friends were scared. So they woke Jesus up and they asked for help. Oh, Jesus woke up in the middle of the storm and he said, silence, be still. Go ahead and pull your hand out of the water and watch as the water calms. Friends, Jesus' power calms our fears. Okay, now grab your towel, dry off your hand a little bit. Awesome. I have three questions for your family to talk about now together, okay? So you'll pause the video and talk after each question. Here's the first one. So what happened to the water in our bowl and how is that like feeling afraid? I'll repeat the question again. What happened to the water in our bowl? And how is that like feeling afraid? Go ahead and pause the video and talk about that. Okay, here's question number two. Imagine that you were in the boat during the storm. What would scare you? Pretend you're in the boat on the storm. What would scare you the most? Pause the video and talk about that now. And question number three. What does this event show you about Jesus' power over your fears? <laughs> That's kind of a long question. I'll say it again. What does this event in the Bible show you about Jesus' power over your fears? Go ahead and pause and talk about that. Wow, Jesus' power calmed the fears of his friends and it calmed the storm too. When our fear, fears feel like a swirling storm inside of us, we can always turn to Jesus. Jesus' power calms our fears. You know, when people are afraid, sometimes they blame God and they push him away. I'll show you what that's like. Now, if you wanna do this experience too, um, you'll need a table in your house and you'll need some scotch tape. So if you'd like, pause and go get those things. If you don't have them, <laughs> that's okay. You'll be able to see what I do. So, I'm gonna pull off two pieces of tape from this roll and I'm gonna put them onto the table. Now, I'm gonna leave a little bit over the edge of the table so that I can pull it off pretty quickly. So there's one piece of tape. 
and the other. Now, once your tape is secure on the table, we're gonna pull them off and we're going to put them together with the sticky side out and watch what happens. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Would you look at that? It's like the tape repels. They don't wanna be anywhere near each other. Huh. Now, once again, I want you to pause the video to talk about this question. Why would people push God away like this when they're scared? Go ahead and pause the video. I'll keep holding the tape just like this so you can still see it. Why would people push God away when they're scared? Okay, now with these same pieces of tape, I'm gonna put one back on the table again you can too if you have some tape. But instead of putting the second piece beside, I'm gonna put it right on top so it's nice and close together. Now, on the count of three, I'm gonna pull both pieces of tape off again. I'm gonna start with the top one and then the bottom one. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Look at that. Now they're stuck together. See, I've kind of reversed the static charge on these pieces of tape. And instead of wanting to go apart, now they're close together. I've got another question for you to talk about. You're gonna pause the video again and talk with your family about this. How can we get closer to Jesus when we're afraid about the coronavirus? I'll ask that question again. How can we stay closer to Jesus even when we're afraid about the coronavirus? Go ahead and pause the video and I'll keep holding the tape like this so you can see it. In our Bible story, Jesus' friends didn't push him away. They went to Jesus with their fears and he helped them. Friends, we can do the same thing because Jesus' power calms our fears. So let's close by drawing closer to Jesus and talking with him. Now, before we pray, I'd like you to think of someone who helps you when you're scared. Maybe it's someone in your family even, <laughs> maybe even in the same room with you right now. Can you think of that person? Also, think about how they help you. Now, for me, I'm thinking of my best friend, Amanda. She always listens when I need to talk and just talking to her always helps me feel better. Now we're gonna pray. And when I pause in my prayer, I would like you to call out, to actually say out loud the name of the person that you thought of. And then in a little bit later in the prayer, you'll get to say or think how they help you. So be ready to say the person's name and how they help you. Are you ready? Good, let's pray. God, we thank you for our friends and family members, and we say their names right now. When we're scared, thank you so much that these people help us in these ways. God, thank you that you help us too. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now friends, every week we're going to draw a picture to add to a thankful journal. Now, you can use a notebook that you have at home somewhere or really just staple a bunch of paper together to make a book. Being thankful, it kind of takes our eyes off of what we're scared of 
and helps us see Jesus' power instead. It's one way that Jesus' power calms our fears. So you need paper and something to draw with right now. So if you need to, go ahead and pause me again and go find some. <laughs> this pause button is getting a lot of use today. Let's see, what kind of face should I make during this pause? How about just a big smile? Are you ready? Go ahead and get your paper. <laughs> okay, here's what we'll journal about this week. I'd like you to draw the person that you just thanked God for, or you could draw Jesus. You can write about them too if you want. Be sure to put today's date on your picture so that you can look back at your journal later. So go ahead, pause the video while you do that. Be creative, enjoy drawing, and I'll just be here making a happy face. Friends, I am so glad that you joined us. We want to see you next week, and we want you to spend the week looking for God sightings. Now, what's a God sighting? I'm glad you asked. God sightings are glimpses of God at work in our lives. It's like they're things that God is doing or providing for you or maybe for people around the world. So be sure this week to look for God's goodness or something or someone that he's made or maybe just something beautiful that reminds you of God. My God sighting today is getting a text message from my friend Jenny asking how I was doing. It reminded me that even now when things are scary, I'm not alone. So when you find a God sighting, feel free to draw or write about it in your journal too. I can't wait for you to share your God sightings next week. See you then. And remember, Jesus' power calms our fears.